I'm Lauren Schaefer and I'm coming to you once again from beautiful Mexico. In my last video, I gave you a demo of Stitch's new automated GitHub deployments. Today, I want to show you how to get that set up and configured correctly. So let me head inside where it's a little quieter and show you how to do just that. As you can see, I'm inside of the Stitch UI. Now, I've not done much with this application so far. I've simply enabled hosting and dropped in some static HTML files. But now I'm ready to set up automated GitHub deployments. Now the first thing I want to do is head over to GitHub where I'm going to create a new repository that I will ultimately link to my Stitch application. So I'll click start a project. I need to give my repository a name, so I'll name it goods and stuff. Then I'll click create repository. Now that I've got my repository created, I'm going to head back to the Stitch UI and set up automated deployments. So I'm going to click the deploy button on the left. The history pane is shown by default. I'm going to click configuration. The nice thing about this page is it walks you through what you need to do step by step. So the first thing I need to do is install the Stitch GitHub app. So I'll click install. You can choose whether you want to install the app on all of your repositories or only select repositories. I'm going to select only select repositories and choose my new GitHub repository. Then I'll click install. Now that the app is installed, I'm going to head back to my deploy configuration page. The next step is to authorize the Stitch GitHub app to access the Stitch application. So I'm going to click authorize. Here you're asked to confirm that MongoDB can access your GitHub account as well as your resources. So if you're good with that, click authorize. Once the authorization is complete, you'll be automatically redirected back to the deploy configuration page. Now it's time to select your GitHub repository where you would like your Stitch application to be defined. So in the repository selection box, I'm going to select my goods and stuff repository and click save. Now you're ready to export your Stitch application and upload it to GitHub. So I'm going to do that through the terminal. Now before I started recording, I installed the git command line interface as well as the stitch command line interface. So if you haven't done that before, go ahead and take a minute and do that now. The other thing I did was generate my Atlas API keys. If you haven't done that yet, we've got some great documentation that will walk you through it. The first thing I need to do is authenticate to Atlas using the stitch command line interface. So I can do that with a command like this, stitch CLI, login with my API key and my private API key. So now I'm successfully logged in. I'm going to execute a bunch of empty commands here so that I don't have to keep blurring these API keys. Now I'm ready to export my Stitch app, so I'm going to head back to the Stitch UI and copy the export command. The export takes just a minute, so I'm going to fast forward to the export being completed. All right, my export completed, so let's take a look at what's inside this directory. We can see we've got a directory called goods and stuff. Let's take a peek at that. Here we can see we've got the complete file structure for a Stitch application. So let me head back up to the directory we were working in. Now we don't really need this goods and stuff directory. So let's head back to the Stitch UI and we'll copy this command. So basically we're gonna move the contents of the goods and stuff directory up a level, and then delete this goods and stuff directory. Let me show you. So now our Stitch application files are in good shape. Let's go ahead and initialize our Git repository. So I'll do a git init, and then I'm going to add a new remote. Now I'll continue to follow the commands in the Stitch UI. So let's do a git add everything, commit those files, and then let's push those changes. So now if we take a look at my GitHub repo, we can see the contents are identical to what's currently in my Stitch application. So now if we head back to the Stitch UI, we can see our final step is to enable automatic deployment. So I'm going to click that big green button. So I get a nice informational message here telling me about automatic deployments. So if I choose to start automatic deployments with GitHub, 
Any changes made through the Stitch UI or the CLI will be saved as a draft. Those changes can be reviewed and deployed through history. I can stop automatic deployments at any time. That sounds good to me, so I'm going to click Enable Automatic Deployment. And with that, I've finished setting up automatic deployments. Anytime I push a change to the master branch of my GitHub repository, the change will automatically be deployed for me to my Stitch application. Once you get it configured, you are good to go. You can spend that time you would have spent manually deploying your Stitch application doing whatever you want. Maybe spend a little time on the beach, maybe do a little paddle boarding, I don't know. All right, that's all I have for you today. Hope to see you again soon.